हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम निराली एंड दिस इज उमेश मेहता सो वी आर गोन टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मार्केट्स टुडे सो द बिगेस्ट कॉन्ग्लोमेरेट रिलायंस इंडस्ट्रीज रिपोर्टेड इट्स क्वार्टरली रिजल्ट व्हाट इज योर टेक ऑन दैट सो दिस बॉगी ऑफ एनालिस्ट एस्टीमेट्स नंबर्स इन लाइन पॉल बाय वेरियस एजेंसीज i think this is creating a big mirage so on the day before yesterday when the results were out reliance all analysts all estimates all tv channels said said that wow numbers are great in line with uh, estimates and then majority of brokerage houses had said that reliance prices will go up by uh, they had raised their price targets by around anywhere between 15 to 20 to 25% and numbers were great but today when market opened it opened with 5% gap down and reliance was uh, obviously market was expected to go down but the way the 5% gap down in reliance says volume uh, we want to draw one important point for our viewers is that the current bogey or the fashion or the trend of you know projecting the quarterly numbers with analyst estimates or the polls rather than comparing the numbers with the yoy numbers or q on q numbers so that is the right way of looking at numbers rather than you know getting some predictions and getting some some few analyst and and television channels and they get out and they bring some numbers that according to us the numbers are the estimate is this and actual that this and therefore they are in line over the line above the line so that has created total confusion and as an investors as an traders they get confused so for example even for tcs so tcs also numbers were actually good you know 11% uh, on constant currency uh, a top line growth was there and yoy profit was also up by around 23% and analysts some of the analysts said wow numbers were great and and they met their expectations but look what happened prices uh, are down by around 8 to 10% in fact 12% uh, so what does one investor or a trader look so is the right way to look at the numbers is through comparing with the lens of analyst uh, check with the estimates or to independently look at numbers and compare Why or why or Q Q on Q based on that. What we think is, yes, uh, numbers should be compared based on the why or why or Q on Q depending. So for on IT companies, Q on Q uh, are a better way of looking at it. But many still look why or why. So whether TCS, for example, has delivered growth and what is the P multiple. So what we think is valuations were high. and therefore no matter what the numbers were good still prices came down so the real way of looking at the market is and the numbers are whether the numbers are great yes but are valuations higher compared to 5 year 10 year uh, valuation multiples if valuations are higher then obviously no matter what the numbers are good prices are bound to come down and if valuations are cheap and 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 very reasonable even if the numbers are bad the stock prices will move up you can see some of the few private sector banks uh, federal bank numbers was the growth was same so there was incremental growth in profits but stock price jumped by around 10 12% post the numbers so i think the this is what we think is a proper way of looking at quarterly numbers in the past couple of weeks you have seen that nbfc's housing finance companies have all fallen down significantly So, do you think this is the right time our investors can get into the into these stocks? So, there are two things happening. Structurally, the industry is undergoing uh, changes. So, earlier they used to finance their uh, their borrowings. They used to get their borrowings at low cost. They used to uh, issue commercial papers, and their borrowing cost was around what seven seven and a half percent. But because of asset liability mismatch, because of sudden uh, squeeze in liquidity. uh they will really have to and regulator has come to uh, come in and started to say that oh my god you have finance all your long term uh, your housing loans are all long term and your 
your borrowings are short term so you there is a asset liability mismatch so this will get corrected so i think it is good for the industry because how long you can borrow on 3 3 months and keep on rolling over so they will have to have long term uh, financing sources and then they can lend so the margins the current nims will be get will get impacted maybe around 50 bips or around 80 bips but that apart stock price have really market stock market has habit of over reacting and uh, we think even in this to uh, this is how the the market carnage is there but i think markets are really over reacting so there are two things if a investor is you know if he has a tight skin and and if he if he does not care and if he wants to really buy if he is very aggressive then uh, he can buy some nbfcs india bull housing finance Uh, and in fact hdfc has also started to move down but for a conservative investor i think one should wait one should wait for volatility to come down and ideally wait for some double bottom sort of things then i think uh, for them it would be the right kind of uh, setup to enter but currently i think it is better not to catch the falling knife but it is also not time to sell i think this is very important so there are people who are advising that oh my god housing finances will come down by 50% more i think sanity will prevail this is not a time to sell from buy it all depends on the risk appetite if if you have risk appetite then you should buy otherwise wait let volatility settle down and then one can buy and in the previous samcast uh, you had mentioned that uh, crude has now made a top so do you, do you think it will uh, it will actually go up from these levels or it will move down still even below 68 correct so i think of of all the you and cry made in the world across iran will not be able to export and etc etc all geopolitical conditions but in spite of in the middle of such uh, so called pessimism i think crude has started to fall and we think that this fall is uh, real sustainable and it is very hardly that and it's very hard to believe that again it will rise so market will really cool down it will correct and we don't think that now crude is a risk slowly and steadily the price of crude will come down it will come to normal levels and so i think crude as a concern should uh, slowly subside and all the sectors that have that were butchered because of high crude crude, crude oil prices should find should re, may have mean reverting tendencies and they should bounce back so headline then omc should do really better and lastly what would be your advice to our investors uh, will nifty go below 10000 levels by this month end or you think it is going to make new highs or what is your take tough call uh, from for traders I think it's Nifty uh, going below ten thousand before expiry and uh, will sustain over there. Looks slightly hard because we think much worst is priced in and and therefore we think that uh, market will settle at this levels three uh, hundred points below current level. Slightly a, a hard call and it doesn't like it doesn't looks like that market will fall to that level. but anything uh, if us market really cracks so we think that us has the potential to come down by around 1500 points so if us market really cracks in a short span of time then even we can have a cascading effect and if they can go down to investors i think uh, for them there are two things so they should not really think that uh, i should have sold my portfolio at high level and uh, and still there is time let me sell off to them i think the the sanity would so for them it is better to remain in cash or have tra- funds transfer to uh, liquid funds and be selective be patient good opportunities will come uh, maybe not now or sometimes in december during uh, state elections so for them i think opportunity will come but for the time being investors should be in a state of uh, statue they shouldn't do anything and traders i think it's volatile so unless volatility comes down trading will be also difficult for them so it is better to uh, use less leverage and buy or dips should be the strategy somewhere around 10200 odd levels
Thank you. Thank you.